In this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to continue our practice of the first and second derivative tests by uh, doing this problem submitted to us by one of our students. We've been given that f prime of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. And we've been asked to find where it's increasing, decreasing, concave up, concave down, the x-coordinates of the relative extrema and the inflection points, and to sketch a graph. This is kind of nice because it saves us part of the work. We don't have to find the first derivative. It's already given to us in the problem. So we can dive right in, set that equal to 0, and solve for our critical points. x squared minus 2x minus 8. This is a x to the negative 4 times x to the positive 2 equals 0. So this will give us critical points at x equals positive 4 and negative 2. Now we take that information and we set up a table to determine where this function is increasing and decreasing. So we'll go from negative infinity to negative 2, from negative 2 to positive 4, and from 4 to positive infinity. And let's pick some test values, say negative 3, 0, and 5. So f prime of negative 3 is equal to positive 9 plus 6 minus 8. That's very clearly a positive number, so it's increasing on this interval. If we put in 0, that gives us negative 8, so that's decreasing. And then if we put in positive 5, that would be 25 minus 10 minus 8, that's positive 7, so we're increasing again. And we needed that. Okay, there we go. Save the first derivative there. Whenever we go from increasing to decreasing, we have a max. And whenever we go from decreasing to increasing, we have a minimum. So positive 4 is a min, and negative 2 is a max. and we know their x values. So now we have found the intervals of increasing and decreasing. We have found the x coordinates of the relative extrema. But we need concave up, concave down, and inflection points. So we're going to need the second derivative for that. This is going to be 2x minus 2. And we'll set that equal to 0 as well and solve. So this will be x equals 1 we have the possibility for an inflection point. So now we're going to take our table again and plug in some test values. Negative infinity to 1 and then 1 to positive infinity. So let's take 0 and let's take 2 and let's plug them in. The second derivative of 0 is going to equal negative 2. So that's negative and it's concave down. And then the second derivative of positive 2 is going to be equal to 4 minus 2, which is equal to positive 2. So if it's positive, that's concave up. Whenever you switch from one type of concavity to another, you get an inflection point. So we have a min at x equals 4, max x equals negative 2, an inflection point at x equals 1. And we're concave down before that, concave up after that. So now this gives us the ability to sketch a graph. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So at positive four, we're going to have a minimum. And at negative 2, we're going to have a maximum. So let's draw. Well, let's change my color here really quick. Draw like a minimum. We're going to have decreasing along there, increasing along there, and increasing along here. Notice the increasing to the decreasing. This makes perfect sense with our concavity. And the same story here. And we'll have an inflection point occur at positive 1. 
Now we have all the information necessary to do a sketch of the graph. Pass through this point here. And at x equals positive 1, we switch from being concave down to concave up. And then we go on increasing. And there you have it. Problem is solved.